he saw me in front of the camera and go, hey, hey, well, here we go. Right, no bother. What you're doing today is you've done the initial white painting. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing here is getting all these darks mm -hmm. that are going to come into it. Now, the, one of the quickest ways of doing it is to actually take a coat of burnt sienna mm -hmm. and paint burnt sienna over the complete canvas mm -hmm. and then start to lift using blending brushes, badgers, cloths, etc. away from your white areas. Right. Then let that dry until it's quite tacky. Um, but as we are using alkaloids, we can use, move much faster on it. And then start to add in what are your definite dark areas. Now, we can see down here yeah. where it's completely dark. Go in with the ivory black, you'll get a feel for it. Yeah. Right. It's, um, some people say they know exactly what's the consistency of the glaze. Consistency of the glaze is what you need for the job. So if it needs to be darker, bring more paint into it. If it needs to be lighter, bring more flinty or more tops into it. Right. Um, so I think try that first. Get the bumps in and all, and then we'll lift the bumps in and off. Sure. Show me some bumps in and I'll slap it on. <laughs> Okay, the next step is to mix up some ivory black. It's the same, it's, it's the same thing that's happened as happened last week. I'm scared of the bike. I'm to start again, mm -hmm. Now I'm sort of thinking, oh, I can do this, I can do that. I can do this well, that's also, that's the thing that I always try to say to students as well, is that I find the comparisons between, like, you now if you were doing something that was athletic, if you were running, then you wouldn't expect to come in and from a standing start go 
Right, that's it. I'm just going to go and do a cross country run of 10 miles from a standing start. You know what I mean? You do stretches, you would yeah. do, you know what I mean? You would train and build up each week as you were going, as you were doing different things. Some of them, when you come into a painting, you know what I mean? You go, it's only the crazy man, the demented one that can suddenly go, right, from a standing start, we're just going to do all the facial detailing. Because your eyes know, and, and you know what I mean? You've actually got to get into that level of concentration to do it. I mean, it's always fine that when I'm doing an exhibition of paintings, it actually takes about three weeks of working constantly in the studio before I'm actually painting a pitch, whereby it becomes very easy to do. You know, I mean, yeah. your eye picks yeah. up the drawing, etc., without you having to think and consciously measure all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, so that's what well, I mean. It's just, it's, the possibilities are infinite, huh? basically. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was meaning about working with the light and the dark at the yeah, same time. Yeah, Although yeah. you've got most of the darks are starting to blend in, but yeah. also bring up those whites. And again, you can't go wrong with it, because if it's done accurately the first time that you paint it on, and you can keep doing this if you're glazing it 14 times. Yeah. Each time you can afford to go right back to almost the white. the two shot. Look at that, it's not half a glow in there, isn't it? 